Education Historian. Dr. Rao is associated with Sadar Patel Institute of Technology for the last two decades. Till today, Dr. Rao has published over 51 papers and 5 patents. He has completed 7 research projects and 3 industry projects. Dr. Rao would work to support startups in the field of embedded systems and IoT, hardware and software. Now I request her to start with his question. So over to you, sir. You may please continue. Okay. Thank you, Chandraban, and uh, welcome. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Great. Sir, I'm Talele. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chand I, okay. Your voice looks like Chandra. Okay. <laughs> All right, can you see my slides? Yes, sir. Yes, can you sir. see yes, my sir. slides? Okay, great. Okay, let's start. Uh, I'm sorry, actually, as a host, I'm supposed to be there. And uh, and uh, I'm pretty happy to have a uh, interactive session. But unfortunately, due to some other commitments, I'm not there. Maybe some other time we will have, uh, I mean, I will share my expertise. Right, these are all my associations. And today uh, I will be talking about uh, ideation and uh, opportunity analysis. All right, so uh, I know this session at least I require three hours, but now I have 45 minutes to complete. Let me see how I can uh, justify this topic. Right. So uh, it is all about, you know, today, uh, though you are all faculty members and uh, have played various roles uh, as a teacher, as a mentor, as a supervisor, and maybe, uh, you know, a, a, a research, uh, research scholar. Uh, today, we are in a different situation where we are talking about business, right? Uh, it is all about uh, 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 commercialization uh, uh, there is no uh, here uh, uh, you know uh, sharing the knowledge or you know uh, as a teacher we always talks about uh, uh, you know how, how we can share our knowledge impart our knowledge uh, to others but when it comes to entrepreneurship or startup companies uh, this is all about uh, some sort of a confidentiality right uh, so your ideas uh, there is a possibility of commercialization. So your idea has to be uh, unique and uh, it's not there on public domains and there is a possibility of commercialization. So it's it's very, very important to have a, a some idea uh, which there is a possibility of uh, business model. I'm sure uh, the earlier speakers and Ganga Madam and all might have discussed about these things. Uh, since uh, I'm I'm an academician and also uh, working in industry sometimes as a consultant, so I can understand both the domains. Uh, one of the prerequisite uh, for this uh, uh, startup companies is that uh, if you, one should be a full-time person, right? I mean, otherwise uh, the day one itself you will be uh, out of this uh, uh, system. While working, uh, if you think that some some few hours uh, are part time, I can devote myself uh, towards implementation of my idea. Uh, I am sure uh, uh, this won't be a successful. As it says, unless you are hungry, you don't understand the uh, importance of whatever you have in front of you. So same thing uh, in this uh, converting your idea into business model. Unless uh, 24 by 7. Uh, at least one person is fully devoted uh, towards uh, either maybe the technology or development or commercialization, whatever. Somebody has to be there full time, uh, 24 by 7. You cannot depend on uh, either on your uh, employees or uh, maybe investors. Uh, as a owner, uh, it's a one of the prerequisite. All right, so uh, I mean, these are all available on public domain, but uh, I thought uh, the picture is the easiest way to convey. Uh, 
money is not an issue please remember that if you have money it doesn't mean that you know uh, you can make business uh, even if you do not have money absolutely no problem there are bankers are there angel investors are there and so on what is important is the idea and vision so uh, that that i mean i will give you quickly give you some examples what is popularly i mean uh, successful stories all right uh, and uh, uh, the complete uh, environment has changed in this COVID last uh, two and a half years. Uh, what we were uh, earlier and what we are today is uh, slightly different uh, and uh, work from home culture and uh, you know, uh, some other uh, challenges uh, in terms of uh, the industry and academics, students, work culture. Uh, altogether, we are in a different uh, uh, environment so so now in future at least this coming five ten years uh, the supply chain is also seriously in, uh, affected and uh, as a designer or as a startup company you have a different kind of challenges so you have to keep it in mind that uh, we are uh, in a new normal and uh, since you are all uh, working in academic institutes uh, please remember uh, uh, we have we came up we we started uh, uh, with a simple uh, right uh, degree awarding institutes right i mean uh, today uh, no uh, degrees doesn't have any value right uh, 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 if, if you have a btech or mtech or phd who cares about your degree uh, so uh, because industry has a uh, different expectations uh, similarly uh, we are talking about now uh, even the industry also we are talking about industry 4.0 that means whatever is your ideas whatever is the products which you are planning uh, they cannot be a just a simple uh, uh, automation or control uh, sort of a things those days are gone uh, now what we are talking about is uh, ai ml uh, robotics internet of things uh, and, and so on Right. Uh, it means that uh, uh, the products uh, or the software, hardware uh, or the technologies which we are looking is all about uh, smartness, right? Smart things. So smart uh, smartness itself is a, I mean, a typical uh, uh, definition. Uh, in simplest way, if you want to be smart, I don't know who is smart. Uh, you are smart, I am smart, or your, uh, uh, your uh, washing machine is smart, your air conditioner is smart, your mobile is smart. What is smartness? I, I, even I don't understand. But uh, the expectation is uh, uh, your system should be smart. So uh, smartness uh, is a relative term, but uh, uh, people are expecting uh, the behavior of a human brain uh, to be part of the systems right uh, that's what you you expect right uh, you expect your washing machine should behave like a the way a human can wash the clothes uh, so i mean th that, that's the kind of expectations so the whatever your ideas you are planning the software and hardware you are planning they cannot be no more a simple uh, control uh, uh, algorithms or simple automation the expectations are much much beyond what a, a or you can say for example uh, today mobile phone uh, mobile phone is uh, such a high-end system but look at the system where a small kid is also able to operate it so uh, imagine what kind of software and hardware is there so that uh, it doesn't require any engineering knowledge to operate a mobile phone isn't it so similarly four wheelers two wheelers you name any system uh, they are such a smart systems that absolutely no uh, uh, engineering knowledge is required to operate them. Uh, without education also, people are operating two-wheelers, four-wheelers, such a computerized systems. Now electrical vehicles, drones, and so on. Right. So those are the uh, industry expectations, or I would say the uh, fourth generations of the uh, products. All right. So uh, undoubtedly, I mean, uh, since uh, engineering is a profession, and uh, the role of engineer is all about uh, uh, some creative creativeness creative mindset all right so uh, that's why i mean every agency is emphasizing right that uh, there should be some small contribution from every faculty as well as every student 
whether it is a practical subject projects whatever whatever you say that contribution means creativity right that has to be inculcated in the academics then only the startup culture or the conversion of idea into a product all these things will come uh, because they need to understand the difference between a uh, engineering and a creativeness within the engineering all right so uh, i mean uh, it's not that today we are talking about this creativity and uh, engineering uh, knowledge uh, i don't know how many hundreds and thousands of years old uh, people are uh, have that creative mindset in our country itself right i mean historically india is known for uh, you know this uh, um, uh, world class uh, universities or if you look at for example if you been to ajanta ellora uh, the nearest places you yourself will uh, surprised to see how they have built those monuments so any part of the india if you see uh, how those bridges or how those uh, monuments are built when there is no this technology computer software is not there right so it's all about uh, uh, some sort of a physics or maths or whatever you say but uh, you know it is all about creativity creative mindset one should have right uh, there is a video oh, due to lack of time not playing but on gravitas you can see uh, one of the video shows that particularly india uh, how rich it is about this uh, our our culture and as far as our education system and inventions our scientists thousands of years old unfortunately what has happened is you know this creativity right the mindset is been literally killed destroyed by these britishers and these invaders right i mean last 300 400 years uh, they are, they try to uh, i mean uh, kill or destroy our culture so now our education system after britishers rule what has happened is that uh, just uh, we are a i mean uh, uh, job it's not a you know so we are creating a slaves right uh, i mean no creativity it is just a degree awarding and uh, whatever uh, is being told you are supposed to do it uh, in short it is called uh, reproduction re reproducing the things not creating the things uh, that's the education system is all about till date hello and welcome to gravitas all right so uh, in short i will say uh, i mean in 30 years after post independence though we have achieved several things right uh, say for example education was very rare uh, women were not allowed in the education uh, and so on but uh, now in uh, in the 70 years we are able to achieve majority of uh, mass education though uh, i won't say quality education but mass education enough opportunities student has the uh, lot of opportunities to reject the uh, number of uh, uh, branches and so on now today we are not talking about education today we are not talking about the employability now what we are talking about is about the entrepreneurship so entrepreneurship means now it is not job seeking it is about job creating right i mean historically india Uh, i mean uh, we generally we have a culture of uh, job seeking right i mean that's how we have we are being destroyed saying that uh, we are only a slaves right only some boss uh, we we are going to work under that boss that, that's the culture uh, last uh, this uh, 100 200 years was created but otherwise uh, uh, no uh, in the past uh, india was uh, is the global uh, supplier i mean historically if you see, if you see how india was progressed uh, indian currency was much much stronger than any other country so once again the time has come to realize our potential and then uh, uh, bring that culture of entrepreneurship uh, in the education system itself where uh, a, a student or faculty should be a job creator all right so uh, uh, there are three things uh, in our system one is no but 
uh, to teach an engineer, engineering is not enough. You, you should be a uh, research research attitude one should have. But now, uh, last five years, uh, right, at least you know, this 2017 onwards, even MHRD, Government of India, is also saying that not only research, now we are saying entrepreneurship skills, a faculty and a student should have. All right. So, I mean, so look at uh, these three terms. Engineering means whenever we are teaching any subject or uh, if we want any uh, mini project or major project to be implemented, we simply say that go to Google and look at various websites, various uh, uh, blogs, isn't it? Or some company websites to find out some problem statement. That's what is generally we say mini projects, right, about engineering. But when we say, no, there should be some contribution, some research has to be there, then we advise our students or faculty or research scholars to look at some IEEE website. Right. So there we say that, you know, look, uh, pick up some one or two good problem statements, try to implement. So what is the difference between uh, finding a problem statement on public uh, domains and uh, uh, finding a problem statement on IEEE website? Whatever the problem statement you will find on public domains is not a product. It is not your idea. Please remember that. I mean, nobody will buy your idea where it's, when it is already there on the public domain. But when we say research, uh, we say that, oh, definitely you should refer IEEE or elsewhere, Springer and so on, is because whatever is published on these websites, we believe that uh, those authors have contributed some part, right? Some, some delta T knowledge is added. So that's why uh, they are able to publish on those uh, websites. Uh, so that is called research, right? Some some delta T knowledge is added. That is research. But definitely it cannot be a product. Product or business means uh, uh, it's not uh, research. Please remember that. It is not research. Product is not a research. Product is something where uh, it's not available. There is an issue, something which you are solving. And there is a possibility of business. Business means money, danda, simple term, marwadi. So if 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 you if you expect that somebody will buy your idea, or uh, there is a possibility of uh, uh, selling your own product, then that means uh, let's say for example uh, Pepsi, Pepsi, Coca Cola, these drinks are uh, there. What is there in that? Just a, some uh, uh, some chemicals and then uh, a sugar and water but everybody knows how to what is there inside that pepsi or coca cola but then why it is a countries less uh, afghanistan also uh, they are able to sell pepsi and coca cola where there is no food isn't it so i mean there is something which is uh, uh, there is a, a business model and uh, that is uh, getting the business for them uh, whatever uh, ethical unethical uh, required not required let's not discuss about it but uh, i am saying look at iphone right iphone is uh, is uh, whatever is the features of iphone uh, they, they are available in a 3500 rupees phone also isn't it uh, internet and all that stuff is available but why people are buying iphone by spending a lakh of rupees uh, is something which is uh, attracting and where they are able to make a business model. So I am saying that uh, research is different, projects are different, but business that is startup or product, these are something to do with the patents, right? Some confidentiality, uh, which is not available in the public domain that is giving the business. Okay, I will give you some popular examples just to understand uh, what is that idea uh, which is uh, uh, can be a commercializable but that, that doesn't mean that every idea can be commercializable lot of failures also there in the uh, in the past okay so uh, i was telling about enough education we have done we have achieved that mass education we have done and women education also we have, we have done much better than any other country so uh, mass point of view uh, yeah, I mean, we have achieved. But what is important is about in terms of some patents or you can you know, some research uh, articles. 
if we look at the global contribution india is still only 5% as compared to in china or united states and other countries right our contribution is still only 5% though every year 12 lakh engineers we are producing but in terms of uh, research or i would say or patents we are still much much below than this uh, uh, us and china and a developed country means it's only because of their patents not because of any agriculture or minerals or and so on right uh, i mean that's where you all know uh, at least a few companies where there are trillion dollar uh, uh, budget even a country doesn't have a trillion dollar budget even india is a 3 trillion dollar but uh, apple company is a 5 trillion dollar one company is a 5 trillion like that the us has a many companies okay so uh, these inventions if you see we are still at 52nd position otherwise education point of view if you see we are on the uh, i mean IT, ict services and so on we are on top 10 but uh, unfortunately uh, still uh, our mindset is only job seekers not job creators is uh, uh the creating the products not the projects and the academic institutes right uh, all right so uh, see i i was keep on saying that uh, how uh, we became like a slaves right i mean it's only because you know last uh, 50 60 years what we are doing is we only remembering and reproducing the things right uh, like britishers i was telling right they they doesn't want us to think because they we are slaves so it is only just you no know, uh, remember reproduce remember reproduce a clerical job clerical degrees what uh, as far as this bloom's taxonomy is concerned up to level number 2 but what is uh, historically also india is known for creativeness and analyzing evaluating the things um, that's the reason why it, i mean today's uh, workshop is also very very important that to inculcate this culture of uh, go beyond level 2 applying the things and evaluating the things creating the things um, and uh, there's a possibility of at least some 5% 10% of ideas but into product okay so uh, this is all possible maybe because of you know student a faculty centric right uh, unless a faculty is uh, uh, you know extremely motivated and dedicated then i am sure it is possible because till date uh, what is happening is a student centric education not a faculty centric education but then you know uh, this is possible Uh, unless uh, if you if if the faculty is self motivated and i'm sure at least a couple of students uh, you you can create this kind of a culture in your institute itself okay now uh, there is a another uh, news from government of india saying that agnipath yojana this is a interesting uh, 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 this thing uh, initiative by government of india saying that 10th standard onwards government of india is spending lakhs of rupees to train the students at least 4 5 years and uh, you will be surprised to know that almost every forget about public sector even the private sector companies are coming forward to take them as employees so what it says is that right i mean the kind of uh, 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 degrees we are awarding are the kind of students we are creating are not employable please remember that that's the reason now you no know, once again the skill development or you know or the bringing the discipline into the system where you know is a time of the hour uh, where uh, government of india is spending and uh, very big uh, companies like mahindra tatas they came forward saying that trained by by this uh, com- this uh, military and so on okay so in short uh, what it says is that uh, our education system is not employable okay so uh, now this creativity when i am saying uh, it doesn't happen only just because you know couple of tools right you know some couple of uh, compilers or you know couple of hardware and software 
it 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 doesn't create anything it is only just uh, uh, help you to develop the things but then uh, unless you have a very good science background uh, uh, the you, you won't find any applications because uh, science right science is the applications right technology we use the technology uh, to convert this uh, science into applications applications uh, we we always comes from the science so uh, you must be aware of that even science uh, uh, government of india is saying that we have neglected uh, badly now a time has come to uh, give the importance of science at the higher semesters of engineering please remember applications of the science is about engineering so unless you uh, realize the potential of these interdisciplinary areas, then uh, technology is just a tool. It's not a product. OK, so this critical thinking, multiple skills, multiple degrees is what about this even new education system is talking about national education policy. I'm sure uh, you must be aware of it. OK, so about this uh, startup culture, right innovation at the academic institutes mhrd is also declared in 2017 and 2019 not only for students it is also for the faculty so it's an interesting document i request all of you just read it and uh, inform your managements and say that uh, a faculty should be allowed to start a company a faculty should be allowed to join a company work for some time and come back and continue Right. I mean, these are all uh, now a, a national policy. No more. A, uh, no, no, no one can deny uh, that. No, it's not students. It's a faculty also should equally involved in the startup culture. Right. So uh, I, I was saying that, you know, why research? Right. I mean, why research? See, please remember, these are all not degrees. Right. B.Tech, M.Tech, Ph.D. These are not degrees. Right. They are, have a different expectations. Right. When you why people are emphasizing about research is because research is a culture. Right. It's a wisdom. Research is a philosophy. Right. I mean, you should have your own thought process. It's not just you know, another degree. Please remember that. So, I mean, uh, a, a institute should have that research culture without having degree. Also, you can have a culture. But I'm saying research is a culture, not a degree. And the output of research, not just publications. Please remember that publications are now even IITs are not recognizing. IIT is also saying that, oh, even if you don't publish, no problem. You do patent. We are willing to give you a PhD degree. So uh, the expectations are changing. Now it's no more degrees, no more publications. Please just keep it in mind. It is all about how you have contributed to the country or to the society. And uh, uh, there's, a, there's a, another side of the research, the, the outcome, right? Uh, the outcome is different. <laughs> I'm sure you all know the difference between outcome and output, right? This outcome is how society is benefited. Uh, our bad research, sometimes our bad research, maybe because of our bad research, uh, we have a polluted environment water is polluted air is polluted our food is polluted everything is polluted and now our, our own uh, i mean now today we are uh, this bacteria or this virus covid virus these are all the repercussions of this bad research okay so just one has to keep it in mind that whatever is the products you are planning for right you also should see that some some ethics or our well-beingness of your society or the country or the world and uh, uh, as a business right i mean i'm sure uh, this is a popular slide uh, when you want to do business first your customers should be satisfied okay customer has some expectations as long as you are able to satisfy the customer i'm sure you will get the business uh, say for example in kolhapur uh, you know Kolhapur Chapel. Kolhapur Chapel is very famous, world famous. Uh, in Kolhapur also, uh, there is a Belpuri which is famous.
sir you are not audible hello sir let's say in this slide what customer with a tire hanging to a tree but then you know how it is projected at all if you see they are projected in a different ways okay i mean uh, marketing fellow has a different expectations sales fellow has a different expectations engineer the the fellow who designed has a different uh, thought process in your mind but what customer want is a low cost thing which he can at least you know have a uh, jula uh, to a hanging to a tree so please remember the, i mean any idea any product when you are planning uh, i mean it's you no know, customer is the god okay so uh, the simplest example is a coconut okay so there are two types of coconuts one is we buy for a uh, water uh, another is we buy for a fruit whenever we buy this coconut uh, we always uh, uh, no dissatisfaction that in the first coconut uh, right uh, we expect more water but always we find that oh it has a less water and it has a more fruit second is uh, after paying we realize that it has more water less fruit but we want more fruit and less water this is a simplest example to understand that uh, uh, i mean what is the customer is paying for what and in return what customer is getting so once he is not satisfied then i am sure uh, you have lost your business okay so this is popular example says uh, i am sure you know uh, this uber is a company uh, is doesn't have their own vehicles but still doing uh, uh, billions of uh, transactions uh, by having uh, public vehicles uh, by using a simple app so app itself uh, several people have invested in apps uh, not only in gaming but also in business and so on uh, when uber is there already then ola is also started and and several other companies you will always find few customers definitely but what is important is something which is unique as compared to this existing product that will give you business okay similarly this you know all these uh, 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 other than banking systems, these mobile pay systems, it's not just a Paytm, right? Now today you will find Amazon, Google, Phone Pay. You are, you might have heard about Phone Pay is uh, our own student. Like that, you know, several uh, companies uh, starting doing business. Now WhatsApp also started. So I am saying that no, yeah, you try to have something which is unique. I am sure you will find the customers. patanjali products historically india is known for ayurveda right i mean thousands of years old but these 300 years our our culture is destroyed now we started uh, believing only those uh, chemical medicines right we have lost uh, our culture right our heritage now this fellow uh, this uh, ramdev baba see in these few years of time again now is able to convert right i mean this uh, are able to bring this uh, past uh, lost uh, our uh, history back to business though dabber is there but now look at i mean it's a really interesting stories to understand this uh, patanjali models right from uh, healthy products to beauty products and uh, and uh, food grains and so on where uh, i mean he is able to penetrate he is able to compete like hindustan liver all these multinational companies including colgate and and so on now it, he is, himself is a thousand of crores uh, turnover he is doing i mean it's a, it's all because you know the advertisement how he has advertised right i mean while practicing while teaching yoga he is indirectly uh, teaching you know or inculcating significance of our own culture products and so on now he is a successful fellow uh, as compared to uh, uh, many of these multinational companies 
and then uh, this e-commerce right a uh, lot of not only this amazon ebay and so on even electronic components or any any product for example in your your nearby place if you have a popular pickle right somebody is making a very good pickle or uh, some clothes or some tribals tribal areas where uh, they make some uh, some uh, uh, some good uh, uh, artworks right so those things if you know uh, it is just only connecting the people right you can connect by using the technology uh, so either through app or through some uh, websites or uh, by using some e resources you can make business just it is all about uh, uh, right uh, uh, i mean bringing the things together and then you know i mean that's what these people are doing otherwise what amazon has amazon doesn't have their own products ebay doesn't have their own products but then it is is, is only connecting the uh, customer and the supplier that's all so similarly you can also find some uh, for example some good sweets are made are your own home right some uh, popular things are uh, there then you know you can also convert those ideas into business models okay so i am sure you know about these things uh, big buzzer and all uh, today even coconut water uh, we don't go to a market to buy a coconut water it is available at our doorsteps so that is see what is customer is expecting is the quality and the service and they are willing to pay for that that's important and then furniture if you if you look at these furniture examples right uh, we know they won't last for several years but what is important here is that the the kind of uh, appearance right the the design or the modularity most importantly portability i mean these are some aspects where these companies are uh, becoming popular right i mean these these are not indian companies but why people are preferring is because at low cost and you are able to get a, a computerized designs and you know new models and uh, as i was telling uh, they are easily transportable modularity and so on okay then uh, the other side of uh, these big brands is uh, you know uh, you all know tata tata industry is known for uh, maybe more than 100 years uh, they are manufacturing from salt to uh, big machines right aircrafts now they are entering into aircrafts but unfortunately uh, he tata himself has uh, say, said that no nano model is failed it's not failed because the vehicle is not good it, the the car is affordable right it's a, it's a low cost i mean anybody can uh, afford it but then where they have failed as he says that they have failed in advertisement the biggest mistake they have done i mean before this slide I, i even i was i was expecting the same thing but fortunately they have accepted that they advertise saying that this is a middle middle men or poor poor fellows car that's the that's the thing the way they have advertised that's the biggest mistake because see what happens is nobody wants to be recognized as a poor fellow right low income fellow right because it's a uh, social status now people are buying why buy people are buying apple phone it's not that it has a, some great features those features are already available in 5000 phone also but then it is a status social status why people are buying 1 uh, crore 2 crores vehicles in mumbai they cannot travel more than 30 km speed but people why they are buying it just a brand or a social status so if you say that you no know, so and so thing is a poor people poor poor people's product then nobody will buy that because nobody wants to be recognized for example if you are traveling a car people are garib aadmi ja raha hai car pe aisa no you want to be recognized so nobody wants to recognize that though they they are not affordable but still they doesn't want to say publicly that we can understand so please remember that sometimes you know uh, social status is also important and if you find such kind of issues are there then better to uh, uh, approach these uh, branded companies right like for example we know godrej or we know this crompton greaves and and so on several companies birlas so you can transfer your technology rather than you started manufacturing and uh, very difficult to find because of the social status 
better uh, 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 in a transfer your technology and they will put their brand and will make money and and they know how to advertise and all that stuff so uh, and take the royalty so this is just to please uh, to convey you that uh, sometimes it is also important that the kind of advertisement the kind of packaging say for example uh, when you buy a water right you are paying 20 rupees for a water bottle the inside the water in every bottle is same but then you know looking at the packaging looking at the sticker uh, you no know, we we are we are buying some of the products it's like that so even if you are buying a small shoes uh, or a shirt but uh, first thing we look at is the get up the appearance the manuals the data sheets right i mean the the, the cabinet they they make say a lot of difference uh, so yeah sometimes we are helpless uh, because customer uh, the 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 first perception is important so yeah sometimes you have to invest on that right i was telling about this perception i mean the way you present the things uh, you have to have your own uh, some uh, creativity here that's why people are now talking about uh, design thinking is uh, one of the important thing is because uh, the presentation is also very important how do you present how do you attract the perception of the people is also important okay so uh, you all know where uh, microsoft has started apple amazon these are all started in a simple garage okay so starting is always you you doesn't require a huge investments or uh, big big infrastructures you can start with a simple computer or whatever a little bit things to convert your idea into a prototype okay but then you know at every level uh, there will be different challenges will be there Uh, as a consultant uh, i'm also a consultant so as a software hardware design uh, let me know if you have any challenges in converting your ideas into products or like say for example you have idea then how to make a, a circuit how to make a pcb how to do the testing and then and all those things are finally commercialization i i'm sure tbi and you know, all these uh, people are there to help you out because you might not be having all the experty starting from idea to the uh, uh, the final supply chain so the challenges are they are at different levels so sometimes you have to have some collaboration or uh, take the help of uh, some uh, uh, these experts all right so these are some popular products in covid also we have we are talking about lab on chip uh, products where you don't need to go to the laboratory where uh, now the laboratory is available at your doorstep okay now smartphones a lot of people have come, come came uh, with some app app development by using mobile phones but it doesn't mean that all apps are successful right so just uh, see that i mean uh, why some of the apps are are some of the games are doing very good business uh, as compared to uh, thousands or millions of apps people have developed the another area is about electrical vehicles right and these uh, battery battery charging things right um, uh, you all know uh, i mean like tata um, uh, this mahindra they already started manufacturing electrical vehicles it is going to be a very big uh, uh, area this entire country 135 crore populated country where electrical vehicle is a next generation uh, market and battery charging but surprisingly we do not have lithium ion in this entire chart you don't find india as a uh, uh, lithium ion supplying we do not have lithium ion so you have enough opportunities right to to think of alternate materials for battery charging like uh, gadkari has already said right there is a huge investment in hydrogen right hydrogen as a fuel and so on right so these are some Uh, some upcoming areas in drones technologies uh, electrical vehicles battery charging and uh, this uh, 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 what's called uh, refilling stations and so on right so i think uh, it's your lunch time just quickly conclude uh, though i have i require some more time uh, selection of a platform is a choice your choice i am sure you might have heard about uh, arduino raspberry pi eagle beagle like that there are so many choices are there 
when you want to convert your idea into a product. But be careful while doing this is because, see, these are the popular products, Chinese products, right? They are there in the market. Then why, why somebody should buy your product when those products are already there in the market, right? Uh, they're already there, right? I mean, uh, they are low cost and you cannot, if you manufacture, you cannot compete.